All right, we're back. Right now, what do we got here? 318, 898. And these are my trims after my drive home. Long term for number two, average after 50 miles is about 1.13%. Long term number one, average about 0.5. Short terms averaging about 0.2 and about minus 1. Pretty good. So, got a good recommendation from uh, Jake in my comments for some reading material. And I read that and it gave you a bit more understanding about the long and the short term trims. And then it still didn't quite do what I was expecting this morning. It was still flopping around all over the place. So, what I did was just, I, it's something I rarely do. I make silly videos to help people on YouTube. I very rarely go searching for videos on YouTube about any topic that I happen to be trying to figure out. But it's like, okay, I'm at a loss, so what do I do? And I found one that I'll link above, uh, somewhere up here, by uh, Scanner Danner. And it's probably not going to be for everybody because it's literally a lecture he gave to his students with the whiteboard or the chalkboard or whatever. It's a whiteboard, but I guess they don't use chalkboards anymore. I'm old. Uh, about long-term, short-term trim, oxygen sensor voltages, and all the other stuff and what the point of these things were. And what I had gotten from the reading is kind of what the long-term and the short-term were supposed to do. And he explained that is short-term moves back and forth to cycle the oxygen sensor voltage up and down to make sure the catalytic converter is happy around where it needs to be for best emissions. And long term is intended to keep the short term as close to zero as possible. So if long term with a vacuum leak like I had or a fuel partial regulator going bad like I had, you're gonna short term is gonna see a lean condition and poke more fuel into it, but once it maxes out, the long term will go and poke more fuel into it so it allows the short term to come back to zero and trim it even finer. Uh, that's the point of there, which I already had, but I was still seeing a lot of information that I couldn't explain. Why was this jumping around so much? It didn't make any sense. It was going positive, it was going way negative, the short term was going to minus 20, long term was, it was all over the place. And then he explained it. He didn't explain that specifically, but what he did explain is the way the fuel map, the fueling map is constructed in these computer programs by drawing a graph of load versus engine speed. And every cell, however they grade, gradated, graded that, however fine gradations they have for their fueling map, Every cell in that fuel map will have its own individual long-term trim values. So if you've been driving for a long time, like I have with that fuel pressure regulator, who knows, that could have been 10 years like that, causing slightly lean conditions. And then my vacuum leak, who knows how long that's been really going, because that thing was spongy as heck. It's probably been sucking air for years. Those trims in every one of those blocks you've ever used, out of however many there could be, even if you know, even if it's you know, if it's a hundred by a hundred, that's what ten thousand, yeah, potential blocks of fuel trim values that need to be reset before you're actually going to start seeing proper values here. So I was like, aha! I need to reset these things. And so I did. I just went under the hood, pulled the ECM fuse and the ECM relay, and let it sit. That was after lunch at noon. I let it sit until about 3 o'clock when I started to head out, plugged it all back in, fired it up, and this is what we've had my entire drive home. And this has now been running for about an hour and 25 minutes, and my long terms are at zero. And my short terms are doing what they're supposed to do and kind of flip-flopping around based on what the oxygen center volt sensor voltages are doing. So I believe this thing is fixed. Right now it is saying that 
on bank one I am running within a half a percent I'm running a half a percent leaner than the original factory tune would have expected and on bank two I'm running 1.05 percent leaner on average than the factory tune would expect that's not bad I'll take that as a win we are back to driving this baby. I am very happy with it. I want to thank you all for all your support. Everybody who watches these videos, comment. Uh, I really do appreciate it. I do read them, you know, and uh, they are helpful. So I hope you all are uh, doing well. I hope this is helpful. I hope the, li the video I linked. If you have questions, I would recommend watching it. It's really like going back to school, but the information is really valuable, and he's got some very a very good way of explaining things. So that's my recommendation for that. Thank you all for watching. Hope you're all having a good day. Take care.